Designing the perfect website can seem like an impossible task, but with Webflow, the sky is the absolute limit. That's why in this video, I'm gonna go over five websites that show the true potential of something like Webflow. Let's get into it. So the first clonable we're gonna cover here is gonna be a portfolio by Matthew P. Munger. Now, apologies if I'm gonna butcher some names in this video, but this is a portfolio that showcases his entire personality in the super old Macintosh style. So this is a very simple portfolio in that you can see some of the recent projects, some of his personality, some of the things that he's currently working on at Webflow. He's actually a employee at Webflow, so this is super, super cool. But you can also see some of his personality. For example, if you go into the trash bin or the bin, depending on where you are in the world, but if you click on it, you'll see you know, he, he's got his jokes in him. You know, we, we, see, we see that in the trash, we have Squarespace, Spotify, Wix, things like that, which is super hilarious. We also see a little explanation about the portfolio and why he uses this entire aesthetic. But this is a great way to showcase your personality while also showcasing your work, your, your recent client portfolio. So keep this in mind when you're designing your very own portfolio. And by the way, as we cover more and more projects in this video, do let me know if you want us to cover any of them in the description down below. Let me know what you wanna see about how they did maybe an animation, an effect, uh, this type of styling. Just let us know in the comments down below. Next up is gonna be one of those paid templates that you see them and you just say, how on earth does that look that good? I need to get something like that. So this is a site that's perfectly suited for anybody's first portfolio or even a SaaS company if they wanna showcase some of the projects that they've recently been working on, something like that. This is a great way to be able to showcase your marketing site without being too cookie cutter with your layouts. So again, but this this is mainly gonna be a great portfolio. We can see that the biggest heading here is gonna be the name of the project, the year, the category of the project. So maybe they're working on web design, on branding, and so they need to be able to differentiate, a quick description, and then we have the first hero image. After that, we get some great description of the project, and this is just a great way to be able to showcase all of your projects with nice big imagery, just showcasing the description of what you worked on, why it's important that you worked on it, and this is just a very simple portfolio to get started. Now, one of the great things about this portfolio is that you do have these interactions that can really elevate the quality of your whole site just by, I mean, this is a paid solution, but you can buy this type of portfolio here. And when you click on this work together, you need to connect your own FAQ or your own, your own contact page here. But this is just a very, very simple way of creating something like this for yourself with all these animations, all these interactions. It's such a, a niche way to develop this portfolio site. Now again, let us know if you wanna see how to create this type of interaction or this type of animation, because adding something like this to your own portfolio can be super, super nice, just a very nice touch. Again, it's not gonna change everything. It's not gonna improve the content inside of it, but this is a great way to just elevate the experience for your end users. Next up is a site that is specifically built for conferences, but you could absolutely use this for anything at all. You can use this for a very nice SaaS site or SaaS marketing page, anything like that it has some super nice parallax effect so as you scroll you get all these different images that can pop up in this case it's going to be our speakers we can also have these stacked cards on top and that is going to be triggered by some sticky effects and that is a very simple effect to do on your site but again these type of, of micro interactions can really level up the whole feel of your entire site so as you scroll down we also get this nice hover effect where we can see all the different speakers their category of, of what they're gonna talk about, if they're a designer, writer, marketer, things like that. We can also click on the individual link itself. So it'll take us to a CMS speaker page, which is super, super nice. This is a nice CTA in the background here. But one of the cool things about this link is that as we hover over the entire card, we get this image that can rotate left and right depending on where our mouse is. Now this would be a mouse X and Y interaction. So we could also feature that in one of the upcoming videos if you guys would want to. So let us know down below. So as you scroll past that section, we get to the agenda side of the site and this would be quite niche to a conference site. But we have this accordion here where we can see the individual time where everything's gonna be taking place, the title of the event, a little description, who's gonna be presenting it, and we can also have the full agenda here. So this is a great way to be able to showcase your conference, but again, you could probably use this for absolutely any type of site that you wanted to, just to simply use the interactions, the effects, things like that. So do keep that in mind when you're when you're getting something like this. Now this is a free clonable, links to everything are gonna be in the description, so go ahead and check those out. But the next one here is gonna be one that is also free, but it's a great way to get into these interactions and animations without 
kind of losing your mind over it. So this is a great way to get introduced to these very simple interactions. So this is gonna be a Webflow site that showcases some great animations and interactions, but it's gonna be an easy way to get yourself to, to start learning about these interactions and animations. So in the beginning here, we have this logo that goes all the way to the top of the nav bar and it stays there throughout the entirety of the scrolling. We have the H1 here that's gonna hide behind itself. So we have two individual text blocks here that are moving up behind itself. So after you scroll past that, we get this image that expands after a certain point. And that is an easy way to start showcasing some important imagery that you need to have on your site. This is a great way to gather attention from your users. So you can say, look, we're stopping here. We're taking a look at this image and then we can keep going. So after that, we have a few sliders here, which are super, super nice, very, very minimal, very easy to use. But one of the cool things I wanted to showcase in this site is gonna be this type of card hover interaction here. Now visually and aesthetically, it looks nice, but I wanted to feature and talk about the interaction here. So we can see that everything in this case is moving according to the mouse interaction here. So this is one thing that you should learn how to do with these crazy, crazy Webflow animation sites. So this is something that you should always be able to achieve with your own animations and interactions so that you can create super user-friendly sites like this one. Now, one thing to know on this one pager is that if we scroll all the way back up to gallery, we'll see that the background does change color after a certain point. So that is an interaction that we could create depending on our scroll position. So that's something super, super nice. And also when we hover over the entire card, we get a few different interactions on these these friends locations or different locations for, for co-works or coffee shops here. So we get the title of the card that gets hovered. We get the interaction here with the arrow, which showcases that there's something else behind the click. So if we go ahead and click it, it's gonna take us to a nice little modal here with the X being the mouse itself. So the mouse converts to an X and anywhere we click now is gonna exit this modal. So super, super nice interaction there. Let's go on to the next one. So the last one here is gonna be another paid Webflow template, but it is one of the nicest templates that I have seen in terms of a marketing site. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is specifically a real estate template, but again, you could use these for absolutely anything. So this real estate template is really good at showcasing its properties. So it has a great use of imagery throughout the entire site. So we have three images here that kind of expand after this, this whole collapse situation, this, this little um, card stack. And we have a few different properties here that we can filter through different cities here. So we got different properties in terms of location, in terms of if you want a home or an office, and then if it's for sale or for rent. We do have the cards here, but we'll get into that in a little while. So as you scroll down, we see that this link card here has a similar feature to another site that we just covered where the mouse has something to do. The X and Y position has some sort of consideration with what we're seeing on the card here. So in this case, it's gonna be a link to the property. And by scrolling past this section, we'll see that these lines here are also moving with us. So we know exactly where we are on the whole page. So as you scroll past, we get a similar stack that we saw above and we can go ahead and just use this as a regular slider. We can click on, on the link once we set it. And we can also see the different individual properties that are either for rent, for sale, things like that. So we see here that this is a super, super nice card. So once I go ahead and click on it, we'll see that it'll take us to a detailed CMS page and that will showcase some imagery here. We'll see that there's a text, just some super simple stuff. But again, the layout here, the way that everything is constructed on this site is what I think this is deemed a super, super nice site. Going back here, we have some very simple testimonials and this is just a slider that we can modify the position of the arrows to show if it's gonna go left or right. We have a simple blog here. But again, the interesting thing with this template is gonna be how the interactions are set, how the color changes, how they used black, white, and orange throughout the entire site. And it looks super, super nice. So keep that in mind when you are looking to something like this and they do have multiple different variations of homes for this paid template and sometimes they do. So in this case, just keep that in mind when you're looking at something like this that it can come with multiple variations. So guys, if you guys want me to cover anything at all in the past five templates that I just showed you, do let me know and we'll try to make a video about it. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.